Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today, I thought that we would add some buildings into this game. Houses, to be more specific. Why not? It could be fun. And I also want to welcome a new member to this channel. And that is Techbox North. Thank you very much for your support. Now, let's go. Just a quick reminder, all of the code I cover in my videos can be found on GitHub. Each episode will have its own branch. There's also a Discord server for this channel. Come in and say hello. If you wish to go the extra mile to support my work, you can do that on my Buy My Coffee page or becoming a member here on YouTube. Links can be found in the description below. First, let's uh, take a look at our image where all the different houses and objects exist. Here's one of them. And this is the sprite atlas that comes with the asset pack. And we're not going to use this image in particular, but we're going to take the houses and use them in a different image because you can build a lot of different houses here and you can put some nice uh, objects around it and all of that stuff. But that is going to come later down the road. That's for tuning it up, making it look nicer. It doesn't really help us right now. So for now, all we want to do is to get one of these houses into the game. So I have already prepared a atlas with a lot of different types of houses. And we're going to use this one, buildings underscore atlas, because all houses are buildings, but not all buildings are houses. First is to drag and drop it into the drawable folder and making sure it ends up right. And all files that I use in this game can be found on GitHub. So. Check the link in the description for that. Just like all other images we have in this game, we need a enum to hold the actual images. So I'm not sure if it's gonna end up in the entities package as it is, but we're gonna start by just making this enum in the entity, uh, entity package. And make sure we select enum and we can call it buildings. Because, yeah, buildings is a good name. Then it needs to implement bitmap methods like that. And then we can start adding some code here. We can add, let's just add one house and we're going to call it house one for <laughs> lack of better words. And that one is going to be this one right here, our first house here. There's no special name I can think of, maybe orange house one something but uh, yeah that name is not that important as of now we just want to get it inside the game and then of course we can rename it later to something that fits better then we need of course a buildings and we're gonna add those and we're not gonna ask for a resource id but we are going to ask for a position on the actual atlas once we use it or load it so int with and then int height and house one i already checked is zero zero and to find the width of this house i just open it up in gimp and we're gonna mark this house make sure we get just this house like so uh, one more step to the right minimize it there minimize it there that looks good and we're not taking the this house at all all right so it's 64 by 48 so we're just gonna put that in here 64 by 48 and that's the position and the size of the house on the sprite atlas that we are going to add code for right now first we need to add the options dot in scale as false then we need bitmap uh, we can call it atlas atlas yes is equal to bitmap factory you know what we're gonna steal some code from some other class so uh, we can take uh, game characters bitmap factory this one and we're gonna paste that here but we don't have a res id we have a r dot drawable dot buildings atlas all right, we can minimize that. Then we need to store the specific house image. So bitmap, not that, bitmap house image. And house image is equal to, if 
first we need to get the actual bitmap, which is bitmap.createBitmap. And we actually do the same in here, not to scale, but this one, create bitmap. And we have x, y, width and height. So for x, we had x, y, width and height. Oops, height. But I forgot, of course, we need to use the atlas in there first. Otherwise, it doesn't know what bitmap am I going to take another bitmap from. But we need to get a scale bitmap, so we're gonna surround this method with a get scaled bitmap. And I think that's good to go. Then of course we need a getter, so get house image. Yes. Anything else with height? Uh, I don't think we need it for now. We can always add it later. So yeah. Our building's enum is now complete. Then of course, just like our skeleton, we need a simple class that stores the information about the building in question. So entities, new Java class, and we can call this building. So we have buildings for the enum and then building might be easy to mix and confuse. No, you know what, let's go with building. And this building class is gonna be very simple. We need a private point F position. We need a private buildings building type. So when we create this in our constructor here, building, we will ask for a position. So point F for position. And then we ask for a buildings and building type. So when we get to draw, update or ask for any type of information about this building, we just go building dot get building type and whatever, whatever information we need and we're back in this enum and we can get specific yeah, values for the house or uh, the size of the house, etc., without having to try to find what ID it is or what type of building it is. So that's why we use the enum in here. And we just go this dot building type. Now we start with pos equals position. This dot building type equals building type. And what do we need? We need to get the building type. So get building type. And of course we need a position, get position. It's very nice when it auto completes for you. But I think that's all we need for our building class, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Next up, we need to add some sort of class that can manage all different type of buildings that we have in the level or on the map. And if we approach one house or one building, we need a class that can keep that code in that class. So we don't have everything in the playing class. That would just be a nightmare trying to find everything. So in our playing class, we have a map manager to manage the map. Just like the map manager, we're going to add a new manager, but for our buildings. So in entities, we can add a Java class. We can call it building manager. Uh, yeah, a building manager is good. And we can start by having this public building manager constructor. What do we need here? Well, we need a list of all our different buildings. So we add a private array list is better than just a normal array. So yeah, array list. And it's gonna be one of building. And we call it building. Building array list. Uh, yeah, they might uh, minimize the confusion because we are building buildings and then, then we will call this buildings. And these buildings would be different from the actual building. So yeah, let's just call it building array list. And in the constructor, we can just say building array list equals new array list. Then we want to get some type of building in this building array list. So building array list dot add new building. Position, 
Let's go 200, 200, so it's not in the left corner. And what else? We need a, no, it's not x, y, it's new point f, 200, 200. That looks better. And here we go, buildings.house1. And that's a new building at 200, 200 using the house one. And in this manager, we also need a public void, uh, not update yet, but a draw. So canvas C. And in here we can make a enhanced for loop. So for all our building, B, we can call it B for building and then building array list. Then C dot draw bitmap building dot get building type dot house image not house image but get house image this is how we get the sprite by just using the building because the building had a buildings type the enum type in its very constructor so we can quickly get the actual house image for that building and where shall we draw it well we should go b dot get position dot x b dot get position dot y and null for paint and that looks correct no errors beautiful we can minimize that a little bit and i think we're done here for now we don't have an update because well we have nothing to update yet and when we do need to update it we can just add a method but for now this is good well the next part is to actually get this to be drawn into the game we have a building right here and we draw it right here so now we just need to create this class inside our playing class we can minimize that we don't need that we don't need that so right underneath here map manager we can add the private building manager building manager doesn't take anything weird so we just say building manager equals new building manager perfect then we're gonna copy that one and look for draw da, 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 da. here we have draw or render and we don't want the house to be in front of the UI that is not good we have the map then we can draw the building so the map the buildings then the player and etc so what do you think that's going to do is that going to be enough let's give this a try and we have a house how about that oh it's moving with the player uh, it's in the game <laughs> but it's uh, we haven't sold the camera or didn't add the camera values to it so let's go ahead and do that real quick and we can probably cheat with our map manager because map manager sets camera values too so all we have to do is to go in here copy this method go in here add this method copy camera x and y place them in there and for our draw get post plus camera x and oops that didn't work camera x and then for y plus camera y and then we just need to call it from our playing so building manager dot set camera values camera x and camera y and let's run it so the house is there and it stays put when we move around it's not a solid house you can just walk right over it the skeletons do it as well but that's something we're gonna address later first we just want to get a house into the game then we can start adding functions to it and yeah the goal for today is complete and it didn't take too long all right well done guys we got our first house in the game it will make more sense in the next episodes why we added a house today might seem a bit random but i promise you it will work out just fine thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next episode cheers, cheers.